Hey everybody, Tim Kelly here. Welcome to Master Photo Techniques. Today we're gonna do a long-awaited episode on the Godox products once again, but this time I'm going to try and test and prove our new Godox AD300. The 300 is a newer one, which is uh, fits of course in between the 200 and the AD400. And we're going to go ahead and use it on one of our favorite models today. Kind of put it through some paces and then give you a little review. I think it's gonna be great because it does have more power and it does have a better modeling, much brighter modeling lamp that we can control the color temperature of. And I think that's gonna be an asset. So let's take a walk around and I'll show you what we're doing today, what we're going to use. We've set up the studio with 100% Godox. So the first thing is right here, actually. I'll roll it down for you. This is the new AD300 and uh, 300 watts, fully battery operated and remote controlled from our on-camera remote. We have it currently in a Godox little soft box, 20, I think it's a 30, 30 or so. Uh, one that we really like, super light, easy to set up, and we have also now in our setup another one of these soft boxes with a uh, V1 in it back here, the V1 Pro back here. So here we are, and we've got the, uh, the V1 here. So it's receiving from the same remote. It's got uh, the same kind of softbox on it. Sometimes we'll use it right at the subject as a second kind of main. And sometimes we'll point it at the wall if we have room or we want a softer light. If we need more power out of it, we can remove the softbox quickly and just bounce off our white wall. And that's why we have white walls in the studio because we can just make it a large light source real easily. Our kick light, which is another V1 right here with some accessories on it. So this is the V1, it's on, it should be on right now. Let's see if I can turn it. Um, so we put it, a barn door on it because it's gonna come in from the back of our subject and we'll be able to kind of just sculpt this light to just what we need. I love these little bar doors and that is gonna be for a kick light. Currently, it's set on the diagonal opposite of the main light. So if we move the main light around, we may easily move this light <clears throat> as well. And these we're using these S2 adapters on all of the lights to uh, position them nicely. Now this is the other and last <clears throat> in the scenario here. We have our background spot, which is another V1 in an S2 but it also has on it the magnetic grid. And this, I can't, I can't say how valuable this is, but it is fantastic to be able to just put a grid spot and then shoot it on my background. And I've got exactly the background lighting that I want. You'll see that in all my videos. It is a key ingredient. But now, all of the lights in my studio today are battery operated, wireless on the same trigger, the, the Godox remote, and I can change all my settings, modeling on, modeling off, pretty much anything from the camera. So there's our main lights, and 8300 as our main, and the first V1 as a fill, second one is usually actually the mo I do in order of importance. So if you only have two or three lights, this comes up higher in the uh, setup. And then the kick light is the real extra, you know, it's the icing on the cake, which you don't use all the time or need all the time, but it's great to have it. But we're gonna try a couple of different things and I believe it'll work really, really well. So stay with us as we do this photo shoot in a completely Godox studio. Laura's with me again, and we're gonna go ahead and use her cool, fashionable outfits to demonstrate the new Godox AD300. So we're gonna start with three quarter length. Since it's kind of a neutrally kind of gray and steely blue, we're gonna use the gray background for a few. And then we're gonna to go to probably a gray paper so we can show a little bit more of her full 
length figure, and it'll, it'll give us a really good idea of what we can cover with this new light. So let's get her started. So Laura will just stand back here, right behind this chair for the moment. And even a little closer still, just touch, beautiful. So I'm gonna use this as my main, the uh, 300. I'm gonna bring it up a little higher since she's standing. Remembering we can, rec you can change everything remote control as far as power settings and such. So that looks pretty good. I'm gonna try and get a longer three quarter length on her, thank you. We'll use a full length stand up reflector right here, beautiful. So you're good and everything else is on. So we're gonna do a couple tests. And Laura right here, beautiful. That's good, balances are looking really nice. Of course you guys can see all this on the screen now. So. Let's do, you're good kind of facing that way slightly with the body, but I do like the way, the, the leg out this way kind of gives you a C curve that way. And then, yeah, it looks cute. We'll just do a few shots. We are currently using that main light at like eight and a half, eighth power, probably closer to, oh, 10, 12th power, something like that. Stay there, let me do a couple shots. Perfect, let's keep the tilt of the head though. You can actually use that hand, keep it up in there more. You can do the backwards thing this way too. Uh, nose would be a little more this direction most of the time for a few shots. Beautiful, and then keep that same one but eyes to me, beautiful. All right, that's good, I like, of course I'm happy with the lighting. Let's pull the arms forward and just try something different. Different and cuter, let's see. That's good, I like that. I like that squeezed body, that's good. And the head though still wants to go to your, towards your main light most of the time. Good girl right there, nice. I do like that, that's good. Beautiful. Okay, let's do you a little turn to face the back corner, be a little more over the shoulder kind of thing, like that way. And you can put a hand on, on the back. The other one needs to bend, yeah, that's good. All right, let's see how that looks. Good girl right there, beautiful. I like that. Let's see if we got the background. Oh yeah, very, very, very nice. I like it. Um, stay there, but push your uh, hair back on that side. Yeah, that works for me. Nice, good. You've been practicing with your friends. No, <laughs> just kidding. There you go. That's cute. Gary, oh, that's a good, that was a good pose right there. Yeah, I like that. Bring the hair to the front again, if you wouldn't mind. Beautiful, good, and let's, um, that's good too, I like that. I was gonna say, we gotta break the, the big old top up a little bit, you know what I mean? So, all right, girl, nice. She looks great. Let's push this uh, reflector in just a tiny, closer. And we can also put the gobo at her knees because that's as far as I'm going. Uh, to, just to pull, pull a little extra light up. All right. Well, we, we know it won't go fast enough for us to just go pow, pow, pow. So uh, now if they were all 300s, I bet we could do it, you know. So, and I could also, I'm shooting it right now at F7-1. All right, good girl. I love what we're getting though, it's super good. Let's do a, a kind of more serious one. Step this way a little bit because you're a bit bright and then look down at the top of that little gold reflector down there. Serious one. Oh, I can't shoot that fast. Of course, let's make the main light a little shorter. Just a little bit, slide it around. Same one. Keep the same pose though, eyes to me. Good girl, love it. That totally worked. All right, and are we are we currently using the, the kick light, right? Yes. So let me turn that up, and let's see let's see what we get. Okay, Laura, right here. Let's see what we get. Yeah, it's working all right. You might snap on. I think you can put one of those little globe on it too, a diffuser. <laughs> okay, well, let's see what happens. Let's see. Okay. It's good, yeah. It's a different, 
Different soft look, it's great. Okay, we'll get a couple of frames of that. Eyes to me, nice. That looks really good. Like it, like it, like it, okay. Nice. It's cute, got it. All right, relax. Let's take a minute. Uh, I think we're gonna we're gonna change to uh, paper real quick. So Laura, you can step out for a moment. Probably no more than two minutes, and we'll just make it a bigger background. Okay, Miss Laura, we're ready for you. Let's jump out there. You look great. Okay, quick test. See, we're gonna pull back curves with that and up the power on the main because we want to cover the body more. That way we'll get more soft, big results. All right, let's do a test. Since Laura's there, we're ready <laughs> to see. Okay, oh yeah, looks outstanding actually. Now, because it's very narrow, as you can tell, your runway's narrow enough to fall off of. <laughs> Go this way just a little bit to be in the sweet middle. Good girl right there. Cross the feet or something cute. You do that well. Hey, curse that box has got to have to leave us right there. Yep. Very nice. Okay. I like it. Oh, it works. It's too easy. <laughs> Nose this way right now because that's where the light is. Eyes here. Beautiful. Let's see. It's, it's lighting the whole figure really well. Really, really well. So now we got the whole thing, whole figure. All right, I like it, that's good. Let me have you go back just six inches at the most, boom, yeah. See if that's better or worse. Love it, straight at me, good, nice. All right, let's spin you again to that wall and kind of side view, you know, boom, over the shoulder. How about we try something uh, facing, um, come forward just a little, face this way instead, or opposite way. Yeah, that's cute. And then flip your head to go that way. Yeah, yeah, that's good. And look in here, right there, nice. Got it. That's good, just put it right to the shoulder, right behind her. Good, and let me see, it's gonna be hot, so you just see how bright it is. <laughs> let's see. Well, oh, can't hardly even tell. Let's see if we can get it a little further from her just by turning the legs so they're flat into the corner, just so you can get it deeper. Yep. And aim just a hair lower, center, center back, and then I'll grab a few shots. That's good. All righty. Last technical check here. Yeah, it's very cool. I like it. I like it. I like it. <laughs> All right. Beautiful. And favor that side for some light. Good girl. And here. Nice. Great. In the uh, 75 seconds it took Laura to change her hairstyle, <laughs> uh, we were discussing the fact that we were missing a recycle on some of them. It wasn't the 300. It was the other ones because the one we're bouncing off the wall, we're dumping half power and trying to shoot, you know, every quarter second. And that does not work. However, um, we are in a habit of having uh, large power supplied uh, studio lights where the habit is just we can shoot anything we want as fast as we want. But when we're dealing with battery power, we gotta be a little more careful so what we're going to do here now in order to capture every frame without missing anything is we're going to go from ISO 100 to ISO 400, which will give us a much better range. And then we'll effectively be able to cut the power in half and maybe even near half again, and they'll have no trouble recycling. So we're going to make that little change in the capture, which on high quality digital pro cameras, it's not even going to be seen. Nobody's going to see the difference between 100 and 400. And then we'll be more free 
to not miss a single frame. It can shoot as fast as we want. So we're gonna do that little change, do a few more similar shots, but with a different hair. And we're gonna, I'm sure we won't see any difference in the lighting, but it's gonna allow us to, it's gonna allow the lights to keep up with us. So let's go ahead and do it. ISO 400, there we are. Okay, and now instead of shooting at F7, we'll probably shoot at 6.3, and we'll cut the power by almost two stops. My fill light's the one with the trouble, and I was shooting at almost half. Now I'm gonna go down to a solid eighth. I'm gonna go to my uh, background light, cut it a little further. It's in third stops or so, I think. And the last one is the kick light that's behind her. And that looks like it's in a pretty good place, actually. 16. And then the D light is our main. I'm gonna cut that. And we'll do another test and see where we're at. Okay, Laura, just for fun. Great. Yeah, it's a little over, so that's good. I'm gonna change my uh, working f-stop to seven. All right, so we've made adjustments. So we have lots of power and I'll do a quick, I'm gonna do, always do one test for balance just to see if everything is in harmony. And then we can just shoot for style. That looks good. I would say Curtis, we, you don't do it, but I'll do it. Background spot can have more power. And that one is B, right? Yes. Okay, let's see how that goes. And darling, good. Yep, that's pretty good. Hair looks great. And now, this is the test. We're gonna be able to catch you in motion. So you might wanna start like facing back the back corner and then just do some uh, moves towards me, move your hair back out of the way, pick up your shirt, whatever you wanna do. You ready, set, I'm going, go for it. And nice, good. No problem, worked beautifully. Every frame, all the lights went off. Good girl, stay there, ah, I love it. Now how come you can do this so well? Were you doing it before I met you? No, it's all natural? All right. Curtis, let's lose that stand behind her so I get a clean full length. You can actually just bounce it off the wall on the other side or whatever, just, just make, some, make some use of it. That's all, and then we're just gonna do a quick rapid fire for some more, because we'll get some cute poses, then we're gonna move on. All right, oh yeah, I like the head turn, that was good. <laughs> Beautiful. Let's do a couple of those, ready? And again, go, go, yes, good. And then you can keep on moving and change the, the weight of the legs and cross the feet and do, you know, cute things. Beautiful, nice. Facing that way, good girl. Nice, good. Very, very good. I'm happy with that. So we got that outfit done. And I like the paper version of it, for sure. Let's go to another outfit, okay? We're going to just do a few more frames on the gray set because we got it tuned and it's working well. We'll just do a few things to capture this and maybe it'll be a black and white image. I don't know yet. And then we'll switch her to a beige background. I'm gonna let you um, move again. I'm gonna try some closer up shots, actually. And rapid fire. You know where the light is, right? Okay, <laughs> that's right, good girl. All right, and beautiful. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So nice, so clean. Good, let's have a couple, <laughs> you click, clicking her. <laughs> There we go. Let's do a couple serious ones. Very serious, beautiful. Nice. Very pretty, got it. Of course, we can move the main light a little bit shorter for her, for this shot. Just a little bit. And not too feathered because we want the contrast. So, she's good there. Like it. Nice. And nose down that way, just a little bit down. Lower, more frontal. Down here, beautiful. Eyes. Good. All right. Great light. Great light. Let's just do a um, get a crossed arms with a, with cute feet, and I'll try and get your whole whole figure in there without changing lenses. <laughs> Beautiful. I can do it. 
Nice, nice, nice. All right, let's just change the feet. I like the direction, but let's just do a, a, a toe kind of down. Yeah, that kind of feel rather than the crossed. Eyes, beautiful, nice, got it. No change of clothes yet. We've changed the background. So we're using a muslin background, beige in tone from David Mayhew backgrounds. And now we are going to just do like a full length seated, which will fit more easily. We're still gonna use the same setup where the uh, main light is the AD, 8300 in a Godox box. The only thing we're changing from the previous shot is we've gone and taken the diffuser off the kick light in the back and went back to the barn door accessory, which I, I like a lot. So we can kind of hit her from the back and give a little shaping. Something we do on the front of every session is do a Macbeth or a gray tag color checker so we can create a perfect profile for these lights and for this room. Bring that in here and we'll, we'll put it next to her skin. This is what we do on every single session. And more than once, if we make major changes to the lighting or we go outside, we'll do it numerous times. All right, this is just to get the balance that we want, which also makes for a wonderful picture and <laughs> a memory. You look beautiful there, hang on. Okay. You don't want the hands to be too big though, that's the thing. Delicate, yeah, beautiful. Even just barely, yeah, yeah. Nice, and put one, lean this way and put one under your hair so we don't really have the hand. Yeah, and bring the elbow even more in like that. Good girl, nose that way more. Head squarer, toes pointed. This is a difficult one, <laughs> serious one. Beautiful eyes here, lovely. Let me get a close up out of it. Toes, <laughs> all right, there it is. Got it, eyes, nice, nose that way, eyes to me, and eyes, good girl. Okay, I love it when a plan comes together, just every shot works now. This would be largely for your subject's sake, not so much for Laura here. I know she looks pretty good on both sides, but in every other paying customer, what we'll always do is we will flip the lights to maybe provide a better modeling on her. Some people definitely look better lit from the left and some from the right. So we're gonna flip it. It'll also change the feel of the image, even though nothing else in the room has changed, but it actually may be the most flattering light for your subject. So we're just gonna do a quick flop. Watch how this is done. I want you to, because I want you to lean always towards the main, just use the left side this way. So you're, you're definitely creating strong angles, okay? okay? It forces you to lean, that's what it does, so. Beautiful, and then cross those ankles or something. Yeah, I think you gotta pull them in tighter, like that, exactly. So you fit on an eight by 10. That's the thing. Okay, gorgeous, yep. That's beautiful, beautiful. And we'll turn, your body's great. Yeah, the face just that way a little bit. Curtis, if you can shorten her mane a little bit, just go in front of the gowling a little bit. And then eyes to me, right here. Beautiful, love it. That is gorgeous. How'd that happen? <laughs> All right. Excellent. Actually, yeah, I think I'd like to have a knee cross a leg. Either one. And then you can use your knee as kind of a platform to lean into a little bit. Yeah, that's good. That works. This hand that's hanging, it's good, I just want to show you. This hand should always kind of point down. It shouldn't be flat or straight. It should always be going downhill. Beautiful. Nice, love it. Happier than that. Good, got it. Super cute. Now let's do it like cross the arms or go both elbows down or something, yeah. Stay there. 
Okay. Nothing wrong with that, let me tell you. We're going to go low key next. Okay. Thank you. Beautiful. That stuff looks great. What we're going to do now is go to the darker scene. So let's pick another outfit. 